in January of 1944, along with many, many other troops and a convoy of 500 ships, we took off in the North Atlantic and for 19 straight days, we braved the ocean at North Sea going to Liverpool, England. It got so bad until uh, you couldn't stand up and when we finally reached Liverpool, 19 days later, we couldn't, when we got off the ship, we couldn't stand, we had to sit. <laughs> it took us two days to be able to stand. We got on a train and uh, went to Plymouth, England, which is in the southern part. And this is where we stayed until the most wonderful day happened. June 6th, in 1944, we saw, uh, I don't know what plane Jerry uh, flew, but we saw those P-38s. The sky was filled with P-38s. And we, all of us, you know, were so happy. We said, well, we might get home for Christmas, fellas, because it won't be long now. Okay. Okay, now, D-Day was June 6th. We didn't get there to Omaha Beach until August 1st. By the time we got there, the beach had been cleared. And I'll never will forget it. As you land on the beach and you walk up the beach, there's a long streamer. And the streamer said, through these portals, America's finest soldiers have tread. Okay, <clears throat> we walked up the hill and then we billeted about three or four hundred yards away. And it was right in the, the season for honeybees in Normandy. And when we, they'd serve us our food They'd always give us a little jam or jelly to go with it. And those honeybees would come and almost take it away from me. So we got kind of used to <laughs> eating honeybees along with our jam and jelly and, you know, whatever else we had. <laughs> okay, we stayed there for a while. <clears throat> and then after the breakthrough, we uh, went, on, went through Paris and and uh, was stationed on the other side for a while. And then after that, we went to Reims, France. We were there during the Battle of the Bulge. Now, if the Nazis had broken through at, at Bastogne, the first city they would have hit would have been Reims. That's where we were. Cold as could be. When I say cold, Instead of, you, you tried to find somewhere to stay warm, stay inside to stay warm because it was very, very cold outside. And I remember one night I was a sergeant of the guard. I was a buck sergeant while I was, you know, at that time. And <clears throat> I went to change guards and this one soldier said, I don't care what you say, sorry. She said, I can't stand this anymore. I'm going back to the I'm going back to the hut. I can't stand this cold weather. I said, Well, if you do, you know, I'm gonna have to shoot you. So he said, I don't care, sorry. He said, if you shoot me, you'll be doing me a favor, because I can't stand this cold. So what I did, I walked the uh, I walked it myself and reported them, of course they, you know, they uh, put them on charges. And we were so happy that they, again, that they didn't break through because it was just so, so very, very cold. And we knew that the soldiers up there were, they were not inside, they were in the foxholes. And we had heard stories about, you know, what they were going through. I know one truck driver came in and he said, you guys, 
complain here, you know. He says he should be up there. He said, in the foxhole, no hot food, no anything. He said, you should be very happy that you are here. Well, so we're happy, all right. And <clears throat> so I just want to say that I'm just so sorry that that we, oh, my outfit and some of the other outfits didn't get chance to make a make a better uh, uh, get the chance to to really make a better contribution. We wanted to go into combat. We want to do this and we want to do that, but at that time the playing field was not that level. But we took what we had to take and we endured and we were glad that we was able to make a contribution and we're so happy that we came through it and we're so happy that in 1948, I think it was, that President Truman integrated the Army. We know that uh, that uh, the fellows who did come come back were glad that they were there too, because they wanted the people to know that uh, that uh, they did the best they very could could do. Uh, it's a pleasure to sit here with these wonderful fellows who who did as who did so much for our country. I hope that uh, one of these days we won't have to fight wars. War is not a, uh, is not a, a pleasure. Tell me, so many hardships, but we all came through it, and it's a pleasure and an honor to be sitting here with all these wonderful fellows. Thank you. Thank you.